I hate this fucking street. I hate this lamp pole metal thing. I hate these fucking leaves. I hate, I hate this rock. It's a dumb street rock. I don't like it. I hate that it says bong party right here. Fuck that. This fucking street. I hate the actual street. I think I hate that guy too. From the north to the south to the east and to the west. I hate, I hate this fucking street. street. And everything in between. Now you might be wondering why I hate this street. Well, I moved into this street about a year ago, and ever since then, it's ruined my life. I live right there. And I work right there. So every day, I have to pass through the street to get to work. I quickly realized that the simple task of walking to work would be the beginning of the street ruining my life. Now, yeah, hold on, hold on. Before I go any further, I should tell you that I've asked a scientist to do some research on the street, because there's no way that this street just sucks by itself, that it's just a normal street and somehow it sucks. It's a coincidence. Hi there. I am a scientist. So I've gotten him to help me out, and here are some of the findings along with my examples of why I hate the street. Man, I can't wait to eat this banana. Maybe I should eat it now. Nah, I gotta wait till work. But maybe. Nah. Ah, fuck it. Ten second rule. I'm so sorry. That was a bad banana. I'll explain later. I'm, I'm not gonna make it into work today. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Um, tomorrow. Why did I gotta hold on to this? Because this. Oh, it's the grass. It's the cleanest part of nature. Oh yeah, it happened again. It's the same thing. It was almost the same scenario. But it's my fault. I'm sorry. I, I will come in tomorrow. I swear it won't happen again. I I, I gotta go. I gotta stop now. I gotta stop. Oh. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's in the thing. There's no way this time. There's no way. But why am I doing it? I don't know. To prove a point. There's something going on here. This should be fine. There's no explanation if this doesn't work. Oh. oh, yeah, that was my fault. The third time, the fool me once, the fool me twice thing, and then ends up with the third. That was my, this is totally my fault, but nothing will get in the way. I swear I won't be late ever again. It's not like me. It's the street. I'll explain that at some, I gotta go. For this particular project, I decided to inspect the street hands-on, thoroughly. And I found some astonishing results. Number one, the street. 
I first took samples of the asphalt, the sidewalk, and the sod. The samples from the street contained high levels of noxious gases, that which would be consistent from what used to be a landfill. Upon further investigation within the city's own historical records, I found that in order to save money, when the street was made, it was mixed with asphalt, concrete, and garbage. So it turns out this street is literally a garbage street. It's garbage. At least that's a pretty tree. Oh no, I'm not going that way. No, no. You're gonna. You can't touch me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Why? Number two, the trees. Next came the trees. After processing the samples, I found that there was a rare breed of tree known as ocular attachitis, which is Latin for eye attack. As it turns out, they are native only to England. They were known to be drawn outside of castles to thwart enemy hordes. It is even rumored that the French were stopped from taking the city of London because of ocular attachitis or eye attack. Also, coincidentally, they thrive on garbage. Number three, the sun. I inspected the way the sunlight hits the street from many different angles using complex science mirrors. And after several car accidents and an almost helicopter crash, I came up with some astonishing results. It turns out the street was built in such a way and at such an angle in a concave lens-like formation and because of the particles of garbage within the street. As the sunlight hits the street, bounces back into your eyes, but then if you are to look at the sun at that same moment, both streams of light will hit you, causing a looped frequency, the results of which are startling. It causes temporary blindness, delirium, madness, and sterilization. No, no, I'm gonna make it. I know there was a small earthquake. I'm not gonna be late to work today. But I did find this banana. I think it looks pretty good. <coughs> I know I said it was an earthquake, but it turned into something else. I, I'm so sorry, please. Just, I know I'm on my last try, or, or my last... Number four, <laughs> earthquake. After studying a series of geological surveys, I found that there's a fault line running the entire length of that street. Just so happens to be the only fault line in all of the state of Utah. It sounds unbelievable, but you have to believe me because as I said, I am a scientist. Number five is the mortuary. Now it's not terribly scientific, but I thought I must include it in the study. You see, at the end of the street, there is a mortuary to remind you that at the end of your life, you die on this street, which is it's kind of a bummer. After going through all of these different findings, I have found that it is nearly impossible for anyone to live on this street. Just during my study, I've been getting anxiety attacks and uh, just been feeling down. And I, right now, actually, I'm getting a shooting pain in my left arm going up to my shoulder. And I, my left arm's numb now, actually. And uh, I'm sure it's nothing, but... Uh... Lemonade! Lemonade! 
Hey, Slick. God bless. One more stop. Cash only. Two dollar lemonade. How you doing, young sir? Pretty good, man. I'll All take right. one. Two dollars for that. Thanks so much. God bless. Yeah. I don't know, man. The street it gets to me sometimes. Feeling down? You're gonna be feeling even more down when you realize there's piss in that cup. Hey, I'm Why just. The I'm just kidding. You. Just fooling around with you. That ain't piss. That's lemonade. There you go. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Grifted me two more dollars. Thank you, Jack. Got to make a dollar somehow, you know. I will say it's pretty good lemonade. Yeah, I grew those lemons on my lemon tree. Secret ingredient is my own urine. Hey, what? I'm just fooling around. Just why well, you keep saying that you're pissing in this thing? I used to play for Motown. All right, you got four dollars out of me. It's two dollars. Just let me have one on the house, okay? Strike a hard bargain. I'm gonna give you a lemonade on the house. Lemonade. Let's take one up, right up off that table. Oh, don't drink that. This fucking antifreeze. Any freeze. Antifreeze on the left. Lemonade on the right. Why do you have the same colored liquid, one antifreeze, one lemon on the same table? Who the hell is buying antifreeze from a stand on the middle of the street? Got to make a dollar. Excuse me, sir. Do you have uh, any antifreeze? My car's hey, Slick, I got some antifreeze right here. There you go. Two dollars on the house. Give you a lemonade for one more dollar. I love a lemonade. This neighborhood is awesome. I hate this fucking street. Next time on the street, part two. Saved your life. Get in, Slim. Woman, I want to get off the street as soon as possible. It's there's, there's stay here much too long. Don't you wish. Hate streets hanging trees. I tasted hate streets hanging trees.